Today's what I eat in a week video is very kindly sponsored by my friends at Squarespace. Good morning my beautiful friends. Long time no see. I hope you have been keeping very well. It's been a hot minute since we did one of these so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I ate in a week as a vegan. I hope it inspires you to get creative in the kitchen and eat more plants and I want to say a big thank you as well to my friends at Squarespace who have very kindly sponsored today's video. So if you've never heard of Squarespace before it is the all-in-one solution to creating a website. I personally host and design my website through Squarespace. I find it super user friendly and it has been really good for Amanda Ducks as a brand to have a space on the internet. So maybe you are looking to start a business or start a blog or launch a product. Regardless, I genuinely highly recommend using Squarespace. I'm not super tech savvy when it comes to the web space, but I have found using Squarespace to be very, very user friendly. I have a couple of things that really drew me to Squarespace in the first place. And the first one was the blogging features. The blogging features are just genuinely so easy to use. And when I upload a recipe, it just is like, honestly seamless it really doesn't take me long at all and as well as that as someone with various social media platforms i love how easy squarespace make it to link all of your social media platforms to your website so if you're interested you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you are ready to launch you can go to squarespace.com forward slash amanda ducks to get 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or a domain thank you again to squarespace for working with me on today's video i really appreciate it and let's get into what I ate in a week as a vegan. One of my favorite ways to start the day is with smoky baked beans on fresh sourdough. And so that is how I decided to start my week. I toasted some sourdough, topped it with vegan butter, as well as some homemade smoky baked beans. This recipe will be linked down below. For lunch, I was really in the mood for trying something new and I decided to try making some sesame orange cauliflower that I was going to serve with rice. I made this with some sesame oil as well as soy sauce, maple syrup, tomato sauce and orange juice. So I roasted some cauliflower for about 15 minutes, then I poured the orange sesame dressing over the top and then I roasted it for a little while longer before putting it in a bowl with some rice as well as some leftover sauce, spring onions and some sesame seeds sprinkled on top. It was super delicious. The measurements will be down below for you. Then as a little afternoon snack, I decided to make some muffins. These are banana, raspberry and white chocolate muffins. They're refined sugar free, but they are not gluten free. They are really, really yummy and fluffy. I highly recommend trying them out at home. I will also leave this recipe linked down below. They are not my best creation ever but they're still really delicious i had a really busy day this day and i got home late at night and cara my housemate had left me some mash as well as some greens and so i roasted up some vegan sausages to go with it and that was my dinner. Then when it came to Tuesday morning, I am really into cereal lately with fresh fruit on top. So I had some cereal with some fresh banana on top. Then I poured over some oat milk and this was a really yummy and quick and easy breakfast, which I am loving at the moment. For lunch, I decided to have a bagel with some vegan cream cheese on as well as some fresh spinach. Then I also added on some fresh tomato. On the fresh tomato, I obviously had to put some salt and pepper on top as always. Then I put some vegan cheese on there as well. I closed the bagel and I had like a bagel sandwich moment for lunch, which was really delicious, packed full of flavor and super easy to make, which I love. From there, I then had dinner and dinner tonight, this was so random. I had a really late night and I was playing netball really late. So when I got home, I just like 
felt like something fresh and so I had some orange juice and then for dinner I decided to have more of these vegan sausages for dinner because I had them in the fridge so I fried these up and then I served them in bread with some vegan butter and some tomato sauce on top that's how simple and easy uh, my dinner was on Tuesday on Wednesday morning I woke up and it was really stormy on the Gold Coast on Wednesday and so it got me in the mood for cereal are we surprised cereal is the thing that I'm doing at the moment so uh, you'll definitely get used to it I had some fresh banana on top of this cereal as well as some fresh apple slices which again is something I'm loving at the moment it's so weird I feel like I eat so much more fresh fruit when it gets colder rather than when it's warmer which is completely backwards I'm fully aware but yeah loving it at the moment okay so after that of course I just had to make an iced cacao I haven't made an iced cacao in this video yet have I no so I made an iced cacao with macadamia milk which was super delicious as per usual and I took it with me to work then when I got home from work it was actually really late I had such a busy week this week and so I decided to get into making myself a little like late lunch I had some creamy coconut lentil Tools, which I've been loving for a while now I'll link the recipe down below for you this is one of my favorite go-to quick and easy meals I really like to serve it with yellow rice and then I put the coconut lentils on top and then I also really like to serve it with some coconut yogurt on top as well just for some extra creaminess and extra flavor so yeah that was my lunch and I also topped it with some snow pea sprouts as per usual I top everything with snow pea sprouts for dinner on Wednesday I went to my friend's house and she made this amazing tahini stir fry which was absolutely incredible on Thursday morning I woke up and I was in the mood for ice cacao as I am most days and so I made my ice cacao but this one I also put some protein powder in which I've really been enjoying just for the extra flavor and it keeps me a little bit fuller which I love so I made my ice cacao with my maple syrup my cacao my maca powder all that good stuff and then I served it up with some macadamia milk once again love macadamia milk so much at the moment and there is the money shot you know I love that shot of ice cacao so much <laughs> and I also love drinking ice cacao so much so yeah that is what I had to start the day then after that I had a bagel once again with some fresh tomato as well as vegan cheese I'm just remembering watching this now how much I was just so in the mood for a grilled cheese type of moment and all we had was bagels so bagels it was and I enjoyed it very much so then for dinner this night we had a friend coming over and I decided I wanted to make a creamy pumpkin based uh, pasta and then I also made some crispy kale to go with it so I used some macaroni and then the pasta sauce was a pumpkin base with cashews and lots of other yummy things in it I will have the recipe down in the description box for you to try this was such a hit with my friends and the crispy kale on top made it extra delicious as well as that Kara made a vanilla cake so we had vanilla cake for dessert which was really yummy when Friday rolled around I was really in the mood for a fresh juice and I was so in the mood for pineapple this day I actually feel like I need to make like a fresh pineapple juice after watching this right now but I made a fresh juice with pineapple spinach and lime this combination was so delicious and it kept me feeling really refreshed and really nourished and it was just honestly so good so that is what I had to start the day it was super super yummy and then after that I then decided to make a chickpea scramble I love chickpea scramble so much because I'm not a huge fan of tofu and so I made my chickpea scramble of course I put it on top of a bagel and then on top of that I also put some fresh cherry tomatoes as well as a whole heap of black pepper and some spring onions as well as snow pea sprouts and this 
this was a great way to start the day. And then keeping with the theme of chickpeas, I snacked on these dark chocolate and raspberry coated chickpeas. For dinner this night, I decided I wanted to try making a peanut butter based stir fry. After my friend's stir fry on Wednesday, I was really, really feeling it. And so I put some carrot as well as capsicum, onion and garlic into a frying pan. Then I added in some pak choy as well as green beans. And then I added in some cooked udon noodles. And this was for myself and for Kara. So I was making it for two. I made a peanut based sauce, which was really yummy. I drizzled this through the stir fry and then I tossed it all through and cooked it all up together and spoiler alert this is one of the best things I've made in so long and Kara and I are currently obsessed with having it all the time it is super delicious for dessert we had one of these chocolate bars as well which we love so very much when it came to Saturday morning, we have a little bit of a routine going on at the moment where we really like to go to one of our favorite spots on the Gold Coast and we get ourselves a drink. I get iced cacao, Kara gets coffee, of course, and then we also get these really, really delicious toasted sandwiches that have pumpkin, tomato, spinach, vegan cheese, and pesto. They are amazing. And this morning, we also decided to share a banana bread, which had almond butter on top. It was really good. Once lunchtime came around, I decided to make a burrito bowl of sorts. I started with some adzuki beans and then I also charred some corn as well. I love charred corn so much. I chopped up some fresh cos lettuce to go in this as well. And then I also decided to cut up some cucumber. I like adding cucumber to so many random things because I just feel like it goes with everything essentially so when it came to plating the burrito bowl i also cooked some rice to go with it i've put my greens in as well as my cucumber then i put my adzuki beans and some of the charred corn as well then i also topped it with coconut yogurt which i love doing on savory food as we probably know by now and this was a really nourishing and delicious lunch for dinner this night kara and i decided that we wanted to have another peanut butter stir fry because as i mentioned mentioned we're obsessed so today we decided to have broccoli as well as green beans carrot pak choy and capsicum i think that's all we had yeah that's all we had and it was super super yummy we then put some more peanut butter sauce in this was a crunchy peanut butter we used this time and oh my goodness it just took it to a whole other level i'm gonna have to make peanut butter stir fry for dinner tonight on sunday morning i decided to start the day with a peanut butter and cacao smoothie it has been a hot minute since i had smoothies regularly but like i mentioned with the fresh fruit for some reason i really really enjoy having smoothies more in the cooler months Anyway, this smoothie has cacao, peanut butter, ice, almond milk, maca powder, protein powder, and banana. It is so delicious and it keeps me full for a really long time. For lunch, I was really feeling like couscous and pesto. So I started by roasting some chickpeas and cherry tomatoes. I realize that sentence doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but we'll get there. I roasted some chickpeas and some cherry tomatoes. I chopped up some cucumber and then from there, I also cooked some couscous and then I also got together some pesto that I had in the fridge it was just a store-bought pesto which I really really love the convenience of store-bought pesto that's for sure so I tossed this pesto through the cooked couscous and then from there I also added in the things that I had cooked so I added in the roasted chickpeas as well as fresh cucumber and the cherry tomatoes and then of course I topped this with some snow pea sprouts okay then it comes to the end of the week and on sunday night we got takeaway from my favorite indian vegan restaurant that had a vegetable korma with yellow rice and some vegan cheesy garlic naan which was truly the perfect way to end a delicious and nourishing week of vegan food Alrighty, my beautiful friends that was everything that i ate in a week as a vegan i really hope that you enjoyed today's video i'm coming at you hot with videos in the next couple of weeks and i I am very, very excited to share them with you. Have a beautiful day and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye.